Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor Nation 24 channel, I hope. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. New Curse of Oak Island Leak Men in Suits Arrive Why? Curse of Oak Island gets some hints about what's happening in between seasons because a blogger who lives in Nova Scotia pays attention. Already, it was confirmed that season 12 is going ahead with filming. More news arrived, and this week, some men in suits visited the exploration site of Rick and Marty Lakina. Curse of Oak Island ramping up so far, some leaks included the fact that heavy machinery was arriving on the island. A huge pump suggested that the History Channel show might pick up where it left off in Season 11. Remember, they went and drilled a new location. But in their last-ditch effort before winter, it was not a happy ending. Curse of Oak Island gets some hints about what's happening in between seasons because a blogger who lives in Nova Scotia pays attention. Already, it was confirmed that Season 12 is going ahead with filming. More news arrived, and this week, some men in suits visited the exploration site of Rick and Marty Lagina. Curse of Oak Island ramping up so far. Some leaks included the fact that heavy machinery was arriving on the island. A huge pump suggested that the History Channel show might pick up where it left off in Season 11. Remember, they went and drilled a new location. But in their last-ditch effort before winter, it was not a happy ending. The personal blog about the History Channel show is a mine of information in between seasons. New leaks this week revealed that buses and cars arrived crossing the causeway with people wearing suits. Of course, there must be a very good reason for that. Are they perhaps investors? Or did Rick and Marty Lagan's team find something interesting? In the comments, speculation arose as fans of the History Channel tried to figure out what was going on. Here are some of their ideas. My guess is that it was Canadian premieres who are meeting in Halifax this week, so it may have been a side visit. The Canadian Revenue Service come to discuss tax treatment of treasure. Oak Island. Wedding edition. The seven-year itch of Oak Island. What they're doing on the island. Very interesting photos and the update. Government officials, maybe? Wonder if they found something huge of interest? Investors. The calm waters surrounding Oak Island had seen many things. Ancient whispers of buried treasure, failed expeditions, and the determined faces of the Lagina brothers as they pressed forward, hoping to unravel a mystery hundreds of years in the making. Yet this time, something felt different. Ominous, even. It wasn't just the murmurs of a new clue or the glint of hope in Marty's eye. This time, it was the arrival of something unexpected, men in suits. The news came swiftly, yet almost mysteriously, like the island itself was hiding even more secrets. Rumors spread across the internet in a storm. Whispers of government officials, financial powerhouses, and possibly even covered agencies were swirling around Oak Island. Why would these outsiders, dressed in polished suits, land on the shores of an island known more for its muddy boots and diggers than pressed suits and leather briefcases? Chapter 1. A Quiet Arrival It began one early morning when the Oak Island team had just settled into another long day of digging, drilling, and theorizing. As Rick Lagina stood by the swamp, debating their next move with his trusted partner, Gary Drayton, a low hum caught his attention. A sleek black helicopter was hovering near the island, slowly descending toward the newly cleared helipad. Since when do helicopters visit us out of the blue? Gary asked, shielding his eyes from the glare of the sun. Rick squinted. Not many that look like that. The helicopter landed smoothly, and as the rotor blades slowed, the door opened. Out stepped four men in crisp black suits, their faces stoic, and their steps purposeful. They didn't glance at the heavy machinery or the chaotic remnants of their most recent excavation. Instead, they marched straight toward the team, their presence causing a wave of nervous energy to ripple through the crew. It wasn't the usual Oak Island visitor, no treasure enthusiasts or historians hoping to catch a glimpse of the team's latest findings. These men looked as though they had a purpose, and that purpose was not gold. 
Rick and Marnie met them halfway, their years of experience making them cautious yet curious. The taller of the men, clearly the leader, extended a hand. Mr. Lagina. Mr. Lagina. My name is Mr. Clark. We need to have a conversation. Privately. Marnie raised an eyebrow, always the skeptic. And who exactly are you? The man smiled thinly, but there was no warmth behind it. Let's just say, we're here to ensure things go smoothly. Chapter 2. Theories and Speculation The Oak Island team had always dealt with conspiracy theories, from Knights Templar treasure to secret societies. But this, this was different. Who were these men? And why now? Theories exploded across fan communities and online forums. Some believe these men were from a private corporation, interested in monetizing any discovery the Lagina brothers made. After all, Oak Island had captured the world's attention for years. Could it be that powerful business interests now wanted to stake a claim in whatever was found? Others speculated something far more sinister. A government conspiracy. Oak Island's history is intertwined with legends of secret societies, pirate treasure, and even military involvement dating back to the American Revolution. Could these men be part of an effort to suppress a discovery too dangerous for the public to know? Perhaps they were here to cover up evidence of a centuries-old secret that was never meant to be uncovered. Some even went so far as to suggest these men were from a shadowy branch of an intelligence agency tasked with investigating potential threats linked to historical finds. Theories connected Oak Island's mysteries to everything from ancient global conspiracies to modern geopolitical intrigue. Chapter 3. Inside the War Room The War Room, usually a place filled with maps, scans, and theories of treasure hunters, was now occupied by the men in suits, their presence altering the room's atmosphere. Rick, Marty, and the core team sat opposite them, tension hanging in the air like a storm cloud. You must understand, Mr. Clark began, his voice calm but authoritative. This island holds more than you realize, and while your search has been admirable, you're approaching something sensitive. Rick leaned forward, his eyes narrowing. Sensitive? We've uncovered artifacts, tunnels, and centuries-old mysteries. What could be more sensitive than that? Mr. Clark exchanged a glance with his colleagues before continuing. Let's just say that certain organizations, people who have been aware of Oak Island long before your endeavors, are growing concerned about what might be found next. The room fell into an uneasy silence. Marty, never one to shy away from a challenge, crossed his arms. And why should we care about your concern? We've been chasing this treasure for years, and nothing stopped us yet. One of the other men in the group, silent until now, cleared his throat. You should care because what you find next may not belong to you. It may not belong to anyone. Chapter 4 The revelation days passed with little explanation, but the air on Oak Island was thick with unease. The men in suits remained on the island, not obstructing the work, but always watching, always observing. The team continued their efforts, though now with a gnawing sense of being monitored. It wasn't until a week later, during a deep-sea sonar scan of the infamous Money Pit area, that the true nature of the men's visit became clearer. The sonar returned an anomaly, a large, unexplained object buried deep beneath the seabed, far deeper than anyone had anticipated. It didn't resemble treasure, tunnels, or any structure they had seen before. It was different. As the team gathered around the monitor, Rick's face darkened. What the hell is that? Before anyone could answer, Mr. Clark stepped forward, his face set in grim determination. That's why we're here. Whatever that is, it's not gold, and it's not treasure. It's something that's been hidden for a reason. Chapter 5. The New Race the arrival of the men in suits has sent shockwaves through Oak Island. Now, the race is not just to uncover the island's treasure, but to understand what has been lurking beneath the surface, something not even the Lagines had anticipated.